Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence for this power series. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use the ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. Get your AN plus 1, get your AN plus 1, divided by your AN, divided by your AN. Now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So uh, looking at this block, uh, visualize this block here as being as being one block multiplying another block and then visualize this as being one block multiplying another block and then if you look at this x to the power of n this is x to the power of n these two will cancel out leaving you with this leaving you and here that will make it this these two will cancel out and then this is your x and the rest here is this okay so so now um now because n is always positive n is um n is always moving from 1 to infinity, n is always positive, so you, we don't really need the absolutes here, we don't really, we don't really need the, the, the absolute sign here, so this whole thing here will then become this. Now in order, for, in, in order for our series to converge, we require this to be less than 1, meaning we require this whole thing here to be less than 1 in order for, for the power series to converge. Look at this block here. Look at this block and this block here. As n heads towards infinity, this n plus one will act as uh, as n. So what you've got here, what you've got here is really well this this thing here. N plus as n heads towards infinity, n plus one will act as n. And then you've got your uh, to the power of n. And then this is to the power of n. But the thing is, you um you've got an extra piece of n here. You've got an extra piece of n here. So so this. Well, this is going to head towards 1, but then this is going to, as n heads towards infinity, this is just going to get bigger and bigger. So the whole thing here will just get bigger and bigger and bigger as n heads towards infinity. So because we want to make this to be less than 1, um, the value of x, the value that you should put into the x here to make it less than 1, it, it, there's only one value that, that, that will make that possible. If you put the number 0 into this whole thing here, you put the number zero into the whole thing here. Uh, the, the whole thing, the, the limit as n heads towards infinity, will be equal to zero. I, if you put zero into the x, if this is zero, then then the whole thing here will be zero. So uh, well, zero is less than one. So 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 the series will converge. You see, if you put a number other than zero, let's say 0 0.7 into here, as as n as n heads get as n heads towards uh, infinity. This is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because this number here exists other than zero. Then the whole thing here will just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It will diverge. The only time the the only time that you can make this to be less than one is equal to zero. That's putting the number zero into this thing here. Then then the whole thing will be zero. Or zero is less than one. So uh, so it will converge. You see the only So that's the only value. Anything other, anything other than zero, this whole thing here will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So your your um, the, the the only time you can make it converge is if you put zero, and zero is the only number that you can put in there. So the radius of convergence is uh, is well the radius here is zero, and then the the interval so zero is the only. So the domain for 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 this function here. Hang on. So the domain for this function here, let's say this is your function here, the domain for this function is the number zero. Zero is the only number that you can put into that function. Any Anything else, you, it, 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 the function will break down. So so your radius of convergence is zero, your interval of convergence is actually from zero to zero and including. Okay.